Good day to you, one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Regard my vast array of spectacles and sunglasses. I'm not sure what to wear for this one. Today I'm talking about the offspring. Um, pretty far, pretty fly, flora, no, pretty fly, in brackets, for a white guy. Uh, released in 1998, produced by Dave Jordan. Um, everyone knows this song, so this shouldn't take too long. Just going to listen to it and try and establish what it is that makes it tick. Look under the hood and look for anything clever and cool. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. I think there's a bit when he goes, Uno's Dolls Tres Quetro, isn't it? Anyway, this song was a major success internationally. It reached number one in ten different countries. Daily Record, which I think is the the Scottish version of The Sun, isn't it? Commented that on Pretty Fly for a White Guy, the band has obviously been inspired by early Beastie Boys and Run DMC songs, which both of those would have been produced by Rick Rubin, by the way. Um, he produced um, License to Ill and... Um, Raising Hell. They were formed in 1984 when I was merely eight years old um, and they have released, nine years old, sorry, they have released ten studio albums. The Offspring is often credited alongside fellow California punk bands Green Day and Rancid for reviving mainstream interest in punk rock in the 90s. They have sold over 40 million records worldwide, making them one of the best-selling punk rock bands in history. <laughs> Those are like pop numbers, aren't they? It's crazy. That's a lot of records. Well done, The Offspring. Can't really call themselves underground anymore, though, I suppose. I don't know what that means. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. This is a great video, though. Okay, it's going to be in B. If I've set my ear to listen carefully, I reckon that's B. I mean, there's a million ways to play that riff. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. You know yeah. it's kind of hard just to get along today. Okay, so. When the verse starts up and they start doing that stuff about, um, <coughs> our subject isn't cool and he fakes it anyway, that sort of thing. To get along today, our subject isn't cool. It's all in this, uh, it's all hitting this note. F sharp. Subject isn't cool, he may not have a clue. I mean, obviously, it's it's sung with enough affectation that it bends down and has sort of various different... It's, it's effective in lots of different ways, but it more or less is this note. You know what I mean? Subject isn't cool, he fakes it anyway. And then it goes. Yeah, so it gets into some cool sort of pentatonic melody stuff when it gets to the pre-chorus. But everything he lacks, well, he makes up in denial. So don't he play, play us straight. Yeah. But you can hear that all those riffs are just they're really catchy, aren't they, on their own? They're almost like, um, I mean, that's almost Seven Nation Army-esque. And it's pretty, it's pretty fun. It's a great riff. It's a great riff. You can play it in a million different ways, different styles. He needs some cool tunes, not just any will suffice. This reminds me of um, the lyrics in, uh, there's a Run DMC song called um, 
Dumb girl, dumb, 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 dumb. The girl is, which is a bit cruel. You know, it's, it's, it's a bit cruel, but it's, a, it's Run DMC from the mid '80s. It's stuff about eating dog food. Dumb, 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 dumb. Ah, oh, no, I'm not thinking about this song. Sorry, it's the wrong one. I'm thinking about you be Ilin. You be Ilin. Big Mac, you be Ilin. But you can see it's the same kind of, I don't know, there's something similar in the riff. And the humour is exactly the same, isn't it? It's just sort of hapless um, <clears throat> protagonist doing stuff that he, they think is cool and correct, but in fact... The the narrator in the, in this instance, um, the Run DMC music band, they know different, and uh, they they're just being mean and mocking him. You be Elin. Something about in that one, he ends up eating dog food. I'm not sure what happens to the the protagonist in the the Offspring's one. Let's let's find out. <laughs> Field and Mill nearly rhymes, um, the other ones did rhyme. Sorry, I know I'm a bit, a bit of a stickler for a, a true rhyme. Rate and overcompensate definitely rhymes. Ricky Lake does not rhyme with those two things though. He's getting ink done. He asked for a 13, but they drew a 31. Pretty good. No, I just think it's a collection of really, really catchy riffs played by some punks. <laughs> it's a, these are catchy riffs played by some punks. Reminds me of sort of Ugly Kid Joe in its humour, or oh, UB Illin by the Run DMC Music Collective. I mean, what can you say about it? Brilliant. Nice work. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. It's important to have fun, isn't it? Even in the punk sphere. You might even sell a lot of records doing that kind of stuff. It's brilliant. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos, and um, try not to eat dog food, uh, or else you'll, you'll be ill in. Yeah, that's it. You'll be ill in. You'll be ill in. You'll be ill in.